Hi guys, my name is Stavros. I'm the author of the Tome 6, Book 1 of The Fateful Force, and I'm also a warbow archer. In this video, we're going to explore how much energy does a longbow produce? Now, of course, that question is a complicated one. There's a lot of variables uh, that go into that. Uh, key to that is the draw weight. Obviously, bows of higher draw weights will perform better than bows with lower draw weights generally. Um, and there are other factors. Uh, there is uh, draw lengths, there is weight of the arrows, and uh, various factors uh, such as that. However, what I have done is I have uh, compiled a list of 12 bow tests through chronographs with bows all the way from 35 pounds all the way to 160 pounds. Now, there's a small caveat to this. Within that population sample of 12 bows, there are two laminate bows, my 87 pound laminate war bow, as well as Joe Gibbs's 130 pound laminate bow. And there's also the H1 heavy draw by Ali bow, which is definitely not a long bow. However, what we'll see from the data is that the energy production of these bows as they increase in weight is pretty linear. And what I mean by that is that how many joules of energy they produce per pound. So with that said, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. At the end of the video, I do have a summary of the bow's performance, uh, including the joules that are produced uh, with these bows, as well as the joules per pound for bows, as well as there is a, a graph graphing all the data of these bows uh, with a, a line of best fit. Uh, 349 grains, 128. 143. 700 grains, 146 feet per second. 52.3 meters per second. 792 grain, 152 feet per second. Now we'll just test this one. This one's 950 grains. 156 feet per second. 950 grain Cressy. 950 grain Cressy. That arrow exploded as well. 174 feet per second. 185. 199 and Remember, this is not an exhaustive test, just a general guide on how English longbows perform with a limited number of chrono tests per bow.